A recent YouGov poll of British adults found that 77% don't know much, if anything, about Islam. Nevertheless, 7 out of 10 believe that Islam represses women, and more than half associate the faith with extremism. Does Islam need better PR? Well, Christiana Becker, you are the face of a poster campaign that's currently uh, ongoing in London, um, which is showing another side of, of Islam, trying to promote a more positive side of, of Islam. Um, why do you feel this is necessary? Because the perceptions of Islam and the true values are so different. There's an enormous gap. Um, before I became Muslim, I had the same perceptions as everybody else. However, when I looked beyond the headlines and, uh, you know, and the prejudices, I found um, a, a religion that makes sense, that is beautiful, that contains you know, the same ethical values as Christianity or Judaism. Did you know, for example, that Jesus is a prophet of Islam? Moses, so is Moses and Abraham. There's a whole chapter on Mary in the Quran. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's right champion, um, uh, a social reformer, um, you know, an environmentalist. We don't know all of this. Absolutely, you're looking puzzled. We don't know this. This is just not known. I think the true values of Islam are the best hidden secret and it's time we pull the veil on it and uh, come out and show the positive values. When I tell any of these things that I've just mentioned to my producer on television, you know what he says? My God, Islam needs PR. <laughs> <laughs> Gisa Sagal, there you go, a completely different view of Islam that most of us have, as we heard in these statistics, and most of us think that actually represses women. Christiana's telling us a completely different story, which is a great argument, surely, for having a PR campaign to inform people. I think that um, religions don't need a PR campaign. So I think Islam is growing very rapidly, and of course there are many versions of Islam that people are converting to. And the problem is that the perception that it is associated with repression and so on. It's particular Muslims uh, who are associated with repressing women. We're talking about the Taliban. And, you know, there, there, there's been a lot of sleights of hand, a lot of language problems, as somebody said. Um, you know, we talk about civilian casualties. Who are most of the civilian casualties caused by? By the Taliban. We have a very complex message from our Afghan friend here. I'm, I'm not saying that is Islam. Exactly. The point is that, that I think what needs to be brought out if a PR campaign is necessary is that the, that the people who suffer from the extreme interpretations of Islam are Muslims. Those are the people in the front line of suffering. And it's, it's, it's people who are being killed by Taliban bombs who are the civilians of Afghanistan who are suffering. So what you're saying that Christiana's kind of missing the point or she's glossing no, I'm over it? I, I think I think that she, they're trying to do something that they feel is necessary. Unfortunately, for instance, I, I, for me, when I look at a Muslim, among my friends, my family, my, you know, people I work with, I see a mirror image. I'm not seeing some alien other. I live in a culture which, I mean, I come from India originally. That's one of the largest Muslim countries in the world. It happens to be a minority, but it's still one of the largest Muslim populations. I'm very familiar with everything that she's talking about. about but but you're not typical. But we, are you I'm very typical of many people, no. and I think there are two problems with this, with, this, with this campaign. One is that in appealing to Judeo-Christian traditions and talking about an abstract idea of Islam as opposed to the real perceptions of real problems that people know that there is rising extremism, that that's also converting people. Okay, uh, well, yeah, that is and then maybe I'm going to bring no, you. Okay. I'm, I'm, and it cuts out, I'm, I'm an atheist from a Hindu background. <laughs> Many Muslim traditions are absolutely rooted in India culturally and, um, and my Hindu relatives I'm worship I'm somewhat entirely sure, time. Gita, why, why you've got a problem with this, this I'm campaign. I'm saying that it evades the question. It evades the question. Okay, it evades the question. The question. To, okay, evades the question. First of all, we have to realize Islam, like any other major religion, is, is not a monolithic block. Yes. There are many different interpretations yes. and many different streams. Now, the violence of a few fringe extremists, which, we are, which um, act against the teachings of the Quran, oh, that is the problem, overshadow the entire media discourse. The vast majority of Muslims uh, condemn these actions, are against them, and live a completely different, beautiful version of Islam, where social equity, so, uh, social justice, you know, all this um, being kind to the weak, the uh, care for the, the, the elderly, all that is part of, of our value system. Peter, Peter think, Whittle, is, it, is this a vision of Islam that you, you recognize, and, and would you I like to be introduced to it? Listening uh, to you, it's like you're living in fairyland. Uh, 
Uh, frankly, I don't see why any religion, I'm a, an atheist, I don't see why any religion should have a PR campaign, which has actually been, I think, directly or indirectly funded by government money, by public money. It's not. It's why, entirely funded by private donations. Right, but it okay. has actually been promoted by tax-funded organizations. Why should, no. this, why should this happen? Some of the points that are made are sort of so absurd that they, they're almost are surreal. The idea that, for example, women in Islamic societies are not repressed is quite extraordinary. Now, for example, we talk about that. this country, That's talk about this country, for example. Nobody has said that. Look, nobody, I said the values of Islam are pro-women and pro-men. What? No, 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 don't no, judge Islam said, by Muslims. You said Muhammad supported Absolutely, uh, he did. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just a second. Let the, Peter finish his point. It doesn't point. make the point. This campaign doesn't make the point about how he married a girl at the age of six and consummated at the age of nine. No, no, it doesn't make that point. But the fact I would make as well, and I, this is a very uh, personal point, is that uh, as a gay man, for example, uh, a big survey done by Policy Exchange a few years ago. The oh, biggest, yeah, the hang, big, on, no, hang on, hang the on, biggest, hang on, hang on, hang on. It was done by Munira Mirza, who is a, a Muslim. She's not and, an atheist. And, right, she, is, she was from a Muslim background, and you know it. She's an atheist. And the fact, the fact is, it found that 71% of young Muslim men, uh, 17 to, uh, 16 to 24, right, thought that homosexuality should be criminal. Now, how are you going to put a PR spin on that? How do you do that? Well, Maybe. Peter, I'm delighted you're here because you're the very reason Islam needs a PR campaign because people like you talk so much drivel no, about Islam no, and Muslims. That's why, why we need a PR campaign. Everything to get rid of nonsense. Some Muslims want homosexuality criminalised. Guess what? Some non-Muslims do too. Go to some pubs around here. Uh, listen, Absolutely. look, yes, listen, I don't agree you with don't that judge, either. But you don't judge a people or a community or a faith on the basis of an extremist minority. That's that is why not the an majority, extremist minority. That, of course it is. That's 70%. That's, of course it's a minority. 70% of, course. of 16 to 24 year olds think that being gay should be criminalised. That's that not a minority. So that means that Islam doesn't have any PR problems according to you? That doesn't mean that the media don't but exaggerate do the fears. Right. There should be no, no, I'm asking you. You said we live in a fairyland. No, right? no, what, what I live in a land where the PR newspapers can say whatever they like about Islam and Muslims, where tabloid newspapers go after people all the time. They go, the Daily Express has either Princess Diana or a woman in a burqa on the front page every other day. There's about 2,000 or 10,000 women out of 2 million who wear burqas, okay? There is an absolutely uh, open campaign of demonization against Muslims among sections of the right-wing press and think tanks like Policy Exchange, sorry to say. You cannot put your head in the sand and expect Muslims to say, oh no, sorry, we're going to ignore this. And actually, let me just make a wider point. Okay, last time I came on the program, I actually came on to make this point, to say the media actually treats Islam badly. What I came today to make the point was actually, we can't blame the media for everything. We can't blame people like Peter for everything. Actually, Muslims are to blame for a lot of the problems in Islam, which is why... Which is why Islam needs a PR campaign, not Muslims yeah. who bring it into disrepute. Well, and that's a very important point. Well, Christiana made a very good point that was based on that, and I must just say a word for Daily Express. I know that they do cover these stories, they also cover other stories and don't get not into as trouble. Much, sorry. Thank and you very actually, much. Cardiff, Cardiff <laughs> University School of Journalism have found that's not true. They disproportionately focus okay. on Islam. Uh, Christiana, but you made a comment there that was very interesting. We should not judge Islam by yeah. Muslims. Since I yeah. had to learn when I converted to Islam, there is, uh, yet again, um, it's a major religion with a lot of different cultural expressions. So some people ex uh, live their Islam in a different way than I, as a European, live Islam. And that is the beauty of it. It's open and to Muslims interpretation. Are good at okay. yes. That's the key but point. you see, exactly, and you see, the point is um, if for social harmony, for cohesion, for, for in our multicultural society, it is very important. We really we try to understand each other, we try to understand the other person's value, the other person's view. Points. If the okay. Catholic Church had, uh, and I, I'm, as I say, an atheist, if the Catholic Church had a PR campaign, uh, you know, uh, the, the fact is it would be uh, laughed out of court here. It would no, be considered. It yes, it would. The Catholic it would be considered to be wrong. Why this should suddenly be, uh, or if a Christian, you know, okay, basically Peter, well, if a Christian. Well, I mean, Christian Anne, 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 Peter, I think, has an exception to any faith having a PR campaign. <laughs> from what yes. Yes. Um, you know, would you share okay, that view? We live in a media I think this PR campaign is absolutely great. And the reason, one of the reasons, 
reasons I think it's great is because information and knowledge and understanding is always good of anything or anybody or any group. And um, I, I mean, I, I, uh, I'm feeling particularly blessed at the moment. I thought I knew quite a lot about Islam. At the moment, we've got a Muslim living with us, and I'm learning so much more. And I'm so glad he's come yeah. to stay with us because I, you know, I thought I knew about Islam, and now I know much, much, much yeah. more about it. And I mean, I love your point that we shouldn't judge Islam by Muslims. Christianity shouldn't be judged by Christians. We're of all course. sinners, you know. And, and getting out what the message is supposed to be is yeah. always a good thing and the gay rights campaign has yes. done fantastic but can, can we ignore decades. can we uh, ignore and facts like in Saudi Arabia a largely Muslim country women aren't allowed to drive and then on the other hand you're saying and that's wrong, and I think the voices. Right. But then it's very difficult for people to understand the message that Muhammad believed in women's rights. In, 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 in Christian, in Christian women, countries, so much, until so a century ago, 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 a lot of women, a century a lot of women ago. didn't vote. A and yet Christianity ago. has this been responsible for the, ma for the feminist movement. The point you know. is that most hang on, hang on, hang on, Gita, and then to me. I mean, I agree with a lot of what you're saying. But I don't think a PR campaign is the right way to go. Because the point is, if you're trying... You don't understand, if you're and people explain. You say, don't explain it to the, us. <laughs> there, there are different types of understanding. And the types how, do you make, how, do you, how do you foster now, dialogue? I'm trying to make my point, which is that the practices... I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a fundamental point that you're saying don't judge Islam by Muslims. Religion is always an abstract. I think you do judge what people do. And of course, all Muslims, as I made, at the point I made, don't do the same thing. They're attacking each other. And they, they, there's very little they support. Well, I'm not a Muslim. Okay, hang on. Let, let, let's let's, let's not attack Gita. Attacked. Let's finish your and, point. And, and the fact is that there's a huge tolerance in this society for very extreme groups, which are in the Respect Party, in the Stop the War Coalition, in the Islam London Mosque, the Jamaat e Islami, the Muslim Brotherhood. What Islamic message Jihadi do you groups, think they should be putting attack, out? Who attack Muslims who are standing up against extremism and practicing an Islam that is not extreme? The shrines of Muslims are being bombed by the Taliban in Pakistan. Okay, okay. Timina, Timina, please, please, just a second. In 2007, the Greater London Authority released a report which said that in one week in 2006, over 90 percent of media articles that referred to Islam and Muslims were negative. And this is why the PR campaign is a, a fantastic step, very, very positive step. Um, and ju just two weeks ago, we had uh, this group, Muslims Against the Crusades, disrupting the homecoming parade of the Royal Anglican Regiment. Now, I've lost count of the number of media articles that say, Muslim protesters this, Muslim protesters that, without making it e e extremely clear that this is a, a fringe minority group, and that the ma vast majority of Muslims do not agree with what they're doing. But do the majority of Muslims not need to get that message out to well, disagree with themselves any Hang on, hang on, Peter. The problem is, is that uh, I would agree, yes, that you, you do have to make that distinction and, and you do have to get the message out about the majority of moderate Muslims. But in that case, we should see some demonstrations sort of not in our name. That this they does not been. happen. This I've does not it happen. I've myself, actually. Okay. They, they are, are not on a mass scale. They have been. Benjamin, Benjamin. Benjamin, and then I'd like to hear what our audience think about this. My name is Benjamin Obadiah Iqbal Zephaniah. Jew Jewish is Christian and it's Muslim, but I actually believe in God without religion, just stating my position. <laughs> but I think it's very interesting that Islam is one of the biggest growing religions in this country. We have everybody saying how bad it is, how bad it treats women, etc. It is one of the biggest growing religions. And I'm concerned about, I, I mean, I think the owner should be on the press to have responsible reporting. I think that's what you really think this matters. is a media problem? I think it's a media problem. I think it's very sad that, that Islam has to have a PR uh, kind of um, a, a, a mission to kind of give itself a better name. Because the truth is, as Anne said, once you start talking to Muslims, although I disagree with a lot of some of their views on homosexuality and everything, when you start talking to them, you find a completely different side of Islam. And I think it's very sad. I think five times you brought up the Taliban. Now, there's a group in Uganda called the Christian um, Army. Um, Lord's People's Resistance. Lord, yeah, they go, they're Christians, and they go around hacking people's heads off and arms off if they don't convert to Christianity. We don't bring them up every time we talk about Maybe, Christianity. I know you want to come in, but I'm really keen to hear what the audience think of this. So, gentlemen there. Islam is a compressive way of life, socially, economically, and morally, but practice by some people are very bad, which they call themselves a Muslim, but they are not proper Muslims. 
We need PR to let people know what Islam stands for. Okay. All right. Gentlemen here. First of all, my eldest son converted to Muslim, um, and every time I, I agree, Islam needs PR. Um, Were you happy time about you that when he converted? Well, at the end of the day, he's 37 year old. He's got his own mind, and that's what he his, his outlook is. When he dies now, as a Muslim, he'll go to paradise. Well, who am I to take that away from him? Mm -hmm. But the point I was making, yes, I do need PR, and every time you hear Islam, it's bad. It's always bad. Mm -hmm. But there's good and bad in everybody, in, in, in Muslim and in British. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, there's, there's Muslims that won't give me the time of day. There's English people won't give me time of day. There's, there's also Leeds United fans, a minority, <laughs> won't, won't, even give me, won't even give me a good word. It but has to be said, this gentleman was determined to get Leeds United mentioned on the program. <laughs> like did a very other fan. Can I just pick up? Maybe. Like Benjamin, I mean, I spend much of my life, I'm a journalist, railing against other journalists who are Islamophobic or take ignorant or ill-informed views on Islam. And I, as I said, last time I came on, I came on to condemn the media. But I would like to pick up something, Benjamin. Actually, I would slightly disagree with you. The focus is, should be on what wrong things are said by the media. But also, speaking as a Muslim, I believe my community does need to do much, much more to go out and speak out and learn how to deal with the media and learn how to express Islam. Nine years ago, I was a researcher on a program like this, and I was asked, go out after 9-11 and find my boss. said, find a credible Maybe we're going to have to go, I'm afraid. And there we're were none, go. but now yeah. there are. Yeah. Salma, Tamina, yeah. Christian. As ever, our debates continue in the message board. Join us next week from